Hello and welcome to In The Garden. Hello. I'm Nicola. Mark. Um, and we're actually standing outside uh, behind us. I'm just going to move a bit. Yep, you can see we have all those new beds that are put together. Um, I have to order some mushroom compost to go in them. Um, they will be the extension of the vegetable garden. Hmm. What else are we up to this fortnight? Oh, checking out the daffodil bulbs from last season. So cleaning them up and getting... Looking to get them prepped for planting. Um, Having a look at Daisy. We're mm -hmm. getting close. Yeah, yeah, very close. She's just um, a very large cow at the minute. Uh, I had a friend uh, come and have a look at her, and he reckons we're within a week. Mm, so, good. which is really cool. I have actually had to dose her. I haven't showed you um, with an ivermectin. Um, she's being attacked by the flies. So, mm. I've actually done that off camera simply because. Um, I've never done it before, so um, I had to sort of run it past my friend while they were here. Hmm. Yeah, plenty on. Changeable weather. Going Old, to the show. Hot. Going to the show, King of show. We have pumpkins in the show. Hmm. Now, we don't actually expect to win anything, but you never it's know your luck. still fun to participate. It is. All right, so we're going to see you through the episode. But as always, if you find something useful in it, please uh, feel free to like, to share, to subscribe. Um leave us a comment you know we're always willing to hear what people have to say the other thing is uh we're playing with a couple of standalone ideas um tell us what you would like us to to do a standalone episode on we've got a couple of ideas we um could do a pumpkin one we could do a beer one we could do a garden planning mm -hmm. Um, how we do things. Anyway, leave us some comments. We'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you through the episode. See Here ya. we are. Mark's horsing around again. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Ground see? is so hard. I can't dig. It's, it's Saturday afternoon. Hard. It's after two. I've been patient. Saturday. That's what I said. Oh. Come on, dig a hole. The jacaranda's going in, finally. Yay! This is going to take a long time to dig. At the rate you're going, yes. Did so we could bring the power planter out, but he went and got them paddock, so. You didn't tell me that until after. Uh, I think I've told you all week long. All week long? Mm-hmm. Really? Yup. How wide is that? Not okay. sure. Right. See that face? <laughs> that is the face that only a mother could love at the moment. Yep. Please dig a hole. I am. Look at what I've done already. <laughs> I think I need a rest. <clears throat> All right, I'll keep digging. Play <laughs> over. And there's dirt on me. <clears throat> oh, Lord, that's tough. Ow! Ow! What? <laughs> Oh, the trials and tribulations. That's a hole. A bit bigger. Yes. Okay. Well, you just said dig a hole. So I have See the face? What, See? See the face? I've done my chest. Yeah, I'm probably... That'd be pretty close. Mm-hmm. There's the hole. There's the jacaranda and it has water. Mm-hmm. So didn't get toad, did we? No, no toad. Is that too deep? Uh, it might be just a titch. <laughs> See I was right the first time. You made me dig deep. That'll do. Because we've got a whole heap of bunya plants too to bring out this weekend. Because they've been waiting three years, so. I don't like that. Uh huh. <clears throat> like two years and nine months or something. Mm -hmm. You're exaggerating when you're saying three. Nearly three years. 
Right, Jacaranda is in. And this is one of those ones I've wanted for a very long time. And we've never been really in a position where we could have one because they get so big. But um, there, you go. there we are. I now have a Jacaranda plant in, or tree. Okay, we've come down and we're ready to pick the dragon fruit. They're all nice, so Nicola had the bags on them to protect them. They look like the ants might have got into them a little bit on their bases, so anyway, we'll <coughs> see. You uh, can actually see they're eating the fruit out. Yeah, so uh, anyway, they're ready and time to go. And how do we tell? They're soft and bright and all the ends wither. Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Okay, ready? Do they twist off? I don't know. Does it just pull? No. Having never harvested a great uh, dragon fruit before, I could not tell you. It's twisting. Pop. It's nice inside, you can see. Okay, let's see if I can get it so that you can see the... So we're not... You can actually have a look here and you can see where they've actually started to eat it out. Oh, it started to split too. Mm -hmm. And they have sharp spines. The old dragon Those fruit. are a cacti. Yeah, that's got him. That's probably a better way to do it if you're filming still. Yep. Oh, well, aren't they soft? Yep. Plants. Oh, he's splitting all right. They are ready. Actually, well, they haven't done too much damage to it. No, I'll we'll cut them be, out and wash it. It'll be maybe. yummy with ice cream. Mm. And there we have three dragon fruit. Good dragon fruit. Good. So it's after six in the morning. Um, I come down when I'm on my own uh, and feed Daisy. Now, I just wanted to show you. Behind her a bit, you'll actually start to see here now her udder is swelling. Um, that's the sign that we're looking for the um, that she's getting close to <laughs> carving. <laughs> Please hurry up and carve. Now, all jokes aside, um, as you can see, she's actually she's quite large at the moment. Uh, so I'm kind of hopeful that you know, she's not far away. Also, if you notice the way her tail is up, um, we're looking for signs of redness there. We're looking for the tail to be up, the pins to drop, and the swelling, which I'd say we're probably pretty close now. So anyway, though, as you can see, she's quite happy. I actually also have some osmectin on the way, so um, it's an ivermectin replacement or alternative. And she is being, oh, excuse me, really annoyed by the flies, so that will help her feel a lot more comfortable. Um, okay, pop that. That's Jeremy, and he's been going since early. Oh, there he is. Hello, Jeremy. What you doing, sweeties? <clears throat> As you can see, they're all up and about and awake. Good morning, babies. They got a feed of bread yesterday. They like that. That's a very rare treat for them. Anyway, I'm going to go. It's time to go back to bed. I should be able to see... I've been spending a fair bit of time out here lately just keeping an eye on Daisy. She is just over, um, if you can see where the, uh, the white ornament is uh, in the little garden, between the white and the black, and you go all the way back, there's Daisy in the very back end. Now, I actually have been keeping a very close eye on her. She is due. She is overdue. Um, we're not far away. She is now so swollen. Uh, she can barely walk um, and I went down and had a look and it looks like the cervical plug is out 
yay. So I'm half expecting a calf at any point. So I've just come out with the binoculars. I don't want to go getting too close. I don't want to annoy her. Um, but anyway, I'll keep you up to date. That's a better view of her. Um, as to whether or not we're going to get a calf before the end of this episode, I really, I can't actually tell you. Um, this is actually only a, the second calf we've had since we've been here, but the first one was actually born. Uh, Mark had a particularly bad accident, had to be flown to Brisbane um, for emergency surgery. So by the time we got back from bringing him home, we had a calf. Um, from everything I understand, she should probably be more restless at the moment, so I'd say not today, but uh, I'm keeping an eye on her. And she's actually hanging closer to this end of the yard, so which is really good. Um, when she's ready, she should sort of stamp around a bit, make a bed, um, and then she'll be up and down and uh, could potentially be off a feed. And this is all the things that I've learned and read, but again, never having done this before, like not at this point, not like this, uh, it's hard to know. So I'll be watching her over the next few days uh, if she hasn't had it. Um, if we have a, a calf, before the end of this episode, I'll uh, certainly update you. If not, I may even just do an announcement uh, on um, Facebook. But anyway, we'll keep watching her and hoping for this car. Okay, so this is, we think it's a turmeric. Uh, anyway, it's actually starting to die back. We're actually going to cut it down, empty it out and pull out any of the um, rhizomes that are in there. So while I'm doing that... Mark is actually going to weed this bed out for me, so it's ready to start. We've got peas and beans to go in. Oh, beans. Okay, so 24, is our, 24 hours on from harvesting, so it's a bit mundry here, I'm sorry. But what we're doing is going through, picking out, cleaning up, getting all the dirt off the turmeric. Uh, I'll give it a bath later and put it in to dry. Um, overnight will be really good actually for it. So the idea is that these knobs, rhizome, uh, will be dried and then I will grind it to make turmeric, uh, which will be shelf stable. So this would be a good piece for us to start with. Uh, however, we got lots of small immature bulbs. Uh, normally you wouldn't use those, but I am actually going to this time simply because um, I have lots of them and I've still got two big polystyrene containers to harvest but um, they'll all be washed, scrubbed uh, and then dried so I'll probably break it up into smaller pieces to make it easier for um, processing. All right peas and beans, so we've got the beans are in, they're a French uh, green bean Ooh, that, that. and what were your peas? Uh, green one, dwarf something. Dwarf somethings. Dwarf somethings. Where's the tag? Uh, P honey pod. There you go, P honey pod. So, new one for us. Oh, I'm playing in the dirt. <laughs> cauliflower? Yep. So, we've got cauliflowers there, we've got cabbages to go out, and broccolis as well. The bok choy's in. The onions are in, so that still leaves me celery and leek down here. So I'm in two mines. I can either put them over there or I can put them on the front side of the beans. Um, I want to rest that front long bed at the moment. Um, I've put some silver beet in there, but I'm thinking I probably should put some green manure in uh, probably fairly soonish. Start building up a bit of um, nutrients in there. Some of the fun wildlife we get around the place. Here's a very fat gecko. We think, what do you reckon? Gonna have baby geckos? Oh, I reckon there's a chance. Do yeah. geckos have live birth or are they egg laying? I don't know. Yeah, that would be interesting. Anyone who knows, give us your good gecko mummy, mummy nana tips. <laughs> um, oh, talking about nana tips, guess yeah. what? We just went and did. Dropped our pumpkins off. At the show. Yeah. So I don't know that we'll win anything, but ours yeah. was the most palest 
Queensland blue they'd seen in a long time. And so anyway. they're true. Everybody sort of went ooh and ah when we told them the story. So yeah. hmm. get some photos of the show over the course of the weekend. And happy geckoing. It's Sunday morning and we're out at the gate and starting to unpack everything ready to put together the solar gate system. So our first bet is get the solar on. So that panel's coming off, being replaced by this panel. Uh, we got the batteries are here. We got a lot of work to do. We're actually really late getting started. It's actually just after 11. I have, however, got the new signs on. <laughs> Morning. What you doing? Well, I'm waiting for Mr. Pitt to come and unscrew these because I can't actually get them unscrewed. So this is the housing for the motor unit. I just explained to, to go you, there. Yeah, I've just explained about the solar panels. Uh -huh. So the solar panel fitting is the same as that one on the back. Ooh, that's fortunate. So there you go. Does it have a little battery in the back of it? No, it's got a little plug-in point. What's that thing? What's that little back yeah, thing? It's a little plug-in point. So that's all it does? Yeah. Okay. It takes the power to the batteries. Mm. Getting very fancy. Yeah. So we'll have an automatic gate, maybe, depending on how good we I are. I have the new signs up, though. Are that both sides? That's both sides. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. That's the sign. Wow. Be fancy. Mm. So come on. Let's get into it before it starts raining on us. What you doing, Mr. Pitt? Making a mess. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering why we're actually in the process of doing this, there actually has been some references made. Now, I won't go into what Mark's other job is. Some people may know, but there's been references uh, to, by people, not not watchers of the channel, but um, about, you know, they basically know where we live. And obviously... This is a little bit problematic. So it has actually necessitated us getting in and getting some of these more um, security and safety style things done. One of the next jobs too is we're gonna have to put some um, uh, some videos, some video cameras on the house too and the, the front of the property. Um, but obviously, you know, I mean, we've got a big dog. We don't want people coming in. We got the cow out the back. Um, but those comments actually, Probably with the, the biggest impetus for us to, to move a bit faster. So. And she's an attack cow. <laughs> so anyway, so it's it's just meant that we've had to get in and get this done a whole heap faster than we planned. So here we are putting the new gate on. Hey, what do you got? Uh, headache. <laughs> we got it off. Ant bites. <laughs> Coffee on your belly. Coffee on my belly. <laughs> Happy dog that she's been out. Oh, well, we we sorted it. A big lump of metal. It took a little bit of thought, but we found a way to get it out, so. Heavy. Yeah. Mm. So what fixed it in the end? Mummy. No, what uh, fixed it? I don't know. What? It was a bolt, and it goes all the way through. Yeah. Or, and so by undoing it from the other side, we were able to take it off. So, now we start the new bit. All right, so, small wrinkle in our plans. We're going to have to get an electrician in because we don't have enough cord, enough conduit. So, at least we got the old one off. We've got all the bits that have been packed together. That's all the old stuff. Uh, yeah, so, bummer. Anyway, that leaves us tomorrow free. Do the daffies. Yeah, we're going to do daffodils and stuff, so solar shenanigans will hopefully restart next week. Okay, so we got to the end of another episode. There's been lots happening. Um, as you would have seen, the solar didn't quite go to plan uh we've got to get somebody in to come and do it for us because we don't have the necessary skills and probably some of the equipment mm -hmm. so what else 
Uh, planted, oh, well, yeah, just trying to think, yeah. what have we done? When, uh, we planted all those seedlings. We planted all those seedlings. So we did, I was we thinking, did. What did we plant? Seedlings, that yeah. was right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Daisy is still fat and round, but uh, I have been informed she is due any day. So I would imagine that uh, there'll be a post go live <laughs> once she pops. Imagine she's a well manipulating fat cow. She is dragging it out because she gets an extra feed a day. She doesn't get an extra feed. She, she just too. gets a little bit, you know, because yeah, I just, I'm trying someone to Someone gives her an extra feed each day. I don't give her an extra feed, but what I am trying to do is, uh, I was told to just keep an eye on her and that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, so anyway, With so. more food. Next episode, we've got lots of natives to plant. We've got hippie astrums. We'll let you know how we went from the um, show. Mm -hmm. But that's all for next time. So if you've seen anything useful in this episode, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment. There was a couple of questions that Mark asked through the episode. So if you know the answer, please let us know. And on that, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.